People are mad at Netflix because they are finally taking away the password sharing stuff. So if you've been using Netflix for a long time, you'll know that a lot of people just open one account and share the password with so many people. Like I know people who do that all the time. And Netflix was even in on the meme like a few years ago. Look at this. Love is an addiction. And then they said, love is sharing a password. Netflix. Oh, you guys like that people share passwords? No, they don't. So there's been a lot of articles recently going over how Netflix accidentally posted some guidelines that where they're going to be cracking down on account sharing. And if you go and check out Netflix Help Center right now, they're actually doing this. So the new updates are here. What are they? Well, we'll cover it in this video. So click subscribe for more stuff like this because it's finally happening. But maybe this is the final blow to Netflix, right? So. Who can use Netflix? Anyone in your household can use your Netflix account. So you're still allowed to share your accounts with people uh, in your family, which kind of makes sense, you know, a household account. But they also say that to ensure that your devices are associated with your primary, primary location, connect to the Wi-Fi at your primary location at least once every 31 days. Hey, oh, you actually have to watch something at least once every 31 days in order to still be able to use it. This is kind of annoying, right? <laughs> so let's say you're at home, you have your Wi-Fi connection and you want to watch Netflix, okay? Just watching some Netflix, but I don't know, let's say you have to travel or go, I don't know, anywhere else. Let's say uh, you're in college or something and you're still using the family Netflix account. You have to come back home before 31 days is over, watch something at least once, otherwise you're going to be kicked out and Netflix won't let you use the account. Bro, <laughs> that is annoying, but I also think that this will create other problems here because what about people who have multiple Wi-Fi connections at their their own house? I think it'll make for a pretty big mess. And they also go over nef sharing Netflix with someone who doesn't live with you. Echo, are we allowed to do that? She's been ignoring me ever since I threatened her. But Netflix says basically no. They're angry at you guys for doing this. People who aren't a part of your household will need to use their own account. That's the friendly way of saying, heck no. Now, of course, you got, we brought up the point about traveling. What about traveling? Well, they say if you travel or live between different places, your device may be blocked from watching Netflix, but you can request a temporary access code. Nice, bro. I guess that's kind of cool. I feel like people aren't going to switch to new accounts, they're just going to stop using Netflix. I think that's what people are going to do here. Like look, how many streaming services are there? Look at all that. I don't even know half of these ones. I don't even know, <laughs> like, what, four fifths of these? I, I can only t point out like, okay, uh, HBO, history, I didn't know they had a streaming service. I think I've recognized that one once. And these aren't even the main ones, I don't see Disney Plus on here. What's going on? Nobody is going to start using Netflix if they have to pay for it on their own. That's just, they're not gonna. By blocking people out of accounts, um, it's not gonna happen. And I think Netflix will take a huge hit to this because I think this article says that, where is it? A hundred million households share accounts. So, a <laughs> hundred million people are going to be pushed out of Netflix and they're being told to start their own account. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think this will just open the door back to piracy. Now, look, I don't advocate for piracy, okay? It's, it ain't right. But I think why people do piracy is not because they can't afford it. If they really want to watch something, I guess they'll pay for it, right? But I think it's the convenience thing. So many different accounts, so many different... Ugh, it's just so annoying to do. Paying for a, a cheap subscription where you can watch a bunch of things is just nice and clean. But when Netflix starts to you know, separate all this crap <laughs> and, you know, other streaming services exist, it starts to become less practical and people will just go right back to piracy. I think when Netflix opened up, it was like piracy went down because people were like, oh, this is so convenient. I don't want to bother with pirating anymore. Don't make sense. But now, I don't know. I feel like people won't be enticed to come back to Netflix because they're being pushed out already. So it's like, okay, <laughs> um, yeah, let's just pirate again, right? Like, what what else? What else is there? Maybe we'll go back to DVDs. Maybe that'll be the new thing, right? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So let me know your thoughts down below. Is Netflix making the right move here? Maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe their stock price will be all right after this. So <laughs> click subscribe for more news like this. That is all. Fly on.